Specific so over slopes, parallel and perpendicular lines. Okay, parallel slopes are super easy because they're just the same. So if you identify slopes and then they're the same, then you know the lines are parallel. And parallel lines, remember, are like railroad tracks, meaning they run side to side and never touch. Okay, they run right next to each other and they never touch. That's what parallel slopes are. So think of like railroad tracks that never cross. Okay, perpendicular slopes are opposite reciprocals, and there's two parts of that definition that we need to remember. First part is opposite, and so opposite refers to the sign. So one's going to be positive, one's going to be negative. That's the opposite part. Reciprocals, if you remember, is when we flip fractions over. So that's why five halves became two fifths, because we flipped it upside down. Okay, so one's positive, one's negative, and then you flip them, so one becomes five over two, and the other is two over five. Okay, so that's why they're perpendicular. And perpendicular lines look like T's that cross at 90 degrees. Okay, so they look like little T's. So today we're going to be identifying some of those. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to identify some slopes. So we're given these different lines, and we need to identify their slopes. Okay. All right, so on y equals 4 thirds x plus 3, what's our slope? Um, 4 over 3. 4 over 3. So that's going to be our slope for our first line. So if it were perpendicular, yeah, we're looking for parallel, so we're looking for the same this time. What's our slope on number 2? Zero, nothing. And there's no extra slope of zero. So it's four over three. And then zero. Okay, so parallel slopes mean we're looking for what? Ones are the same. Um, okay, so we know that one and three are the same, so I know that one and one and number three are perpendicular. And then and two and four are perpendicular. Okay, so you're just going to group them, and sometimes you'll have ones that where all of them match, and sometimes you'll have ones where only two of them will match. Okay, so we're just grouping. So let's do another one. That's all I'm doing. So we're looking for parallels, so we're looking for the ones that are the same. So this one is just three or three. Or Negative one half. What number is in front of my x? One. one. So this is like one. And then what about this one? Three. Very good. The number in front of your x. So then the ones that are the same are one and four. So lines number one and lines number four are parallel. Okay, so that's the symbol you use for parallel. So parallel is the same. Perpendicular is where it gets a little trickier. Okay, because perpendicular, we're looking for ones that are opposite reciprocals, right? So we have two parts of that definition you have to look at. Okay, zero, yep. Zero, okay. No. Negative four. And then negative one over four. And I'm pretty sure that's a typo, so I'm gonna make it positive. Okay. So then we ignore zeros when we're looking at perpendicular only, because zeros are just weird. They don't have opposite reciprocals. Okay. And then we look one's positive, or one's negative, one's positive. So that satisfies our opposite criteria. That's the first thing you look at. Then we look at other reciprocals. So this is like four over one. And this one is 1 over 4, so are they reciprocals? Yes, so that satisfies our reciprocal. So then we know that number 3 and number 4 are going to be perpendicular. So that's your perpendicular symbol. Okay, so far so good. You just have to match them. So you just match them. But it's easy when you write down the slopes. So I'll do one more. Pay attention one more. And then you guys can go. Okay, so zero. 
Nope. Zero. And we ignore our zeros, and then negative one over five. All right, so they have to be opposite. So we know that we're ignoring one and three because they're zeros. So this is like five over one. So are they opposites? Let's start. Is one positive, one negative? Yes. Okay, are they reciprocals? Yes. So then we know that number two and number four are going to be perpendicular. Okay, so all you're doing is matching them up today. So write down your equations, find your slopes, and then match them. It is going to be easiest if you write down the equations and write down your slopes. You're going to do 297, 1 through 15. 